Hi, it's Adrian. How are you doing today? And so I'm back with a couple of new products that I'm uh, just now testing and a couple of tried and true. And let's see. Oh, got a fuzzy. There we go. Um, as far as getting started today, what I went ahead and used for my foundation is actually brand new to me. I got the tier tier and I got mine in cool 21. As far as this particular foundation goes, I got it over at Amazon, and they do have different sizes. So I actually got the smaller size, and I think it's 0.53 um, as far as the amount in there, but it's a cushion foundation. It comes with a little sponge here as far as an applicator. And again, I got mine in Cool 21. This is the first time I've worn it, so I haven't really tried it before. I did go ahead and use the ColourPop um, as far as my concealer and N10. And then I did go ahead and use the NYX Buttermilk Bronzer. This one is the one in Buttercup. This is their lightest one. It goes peachy on me. And I did pick up one of the Buttermilk. Um, this is get and butter as far as um, my blush and so that's what I have on as my blush today. I think it worked out pretty well. Uh, another favorite that I actually just got a little while ago is the Rare Beauty this is Mesmerize Highlighter. So this is what I have on as my highlighter today. I think it worked out really well. Another new purchase that I got over at Dollar Tree, uh, these are their lipsticks that are supposed to dupe uh, the vinyl lipsticks. So I had the one in Roseon, and then I used some of the Hard Candy Plumper Gloss in uh, Sunkist. So this is how that turned out. I think it worked out really well. I'm really liking these. And uh, they do have a couple of different colors. Sometimes you have to go to a different Dollar Tree to find the different colors. But these are really fun. And um, let's see, as far as the eyeshadow today, um, I did go ahead and use the Daylight Palette. It's supposed to be inspired by the Natasha Denona I Need a Nude Palette. And so today I went ahead and started off with... Um, Let's see, with this one in my crease, and then I put this one on the outer corner. And I went ahead and did this one on the inner corner from here to here and then here to here. Actually, I think I'm going to do a little bit more of that. Okay, and then as far as what I went ahead and put on the brow bone itself is this color right here. And um, I'm actually really enjoying the sparkle in it. Like I said, I really don't uh, get very many nude palettes, let alone very many nude brown palettes. This is probably, um, yeah, if you'd asked me a year ago, I wouldn't have thought that I would have picked this up. But like I said, I am really enjoying it. And then what I'm finding, and again, I haven't worn it that much yet, but I'm going ahead and putting some colorful eyeliners with it. Today I have on the Handy On um, Green, and then I went ahead and topped it with the ColourPop uh, Multi-Chrome Green Eyeliner. So I have on both of these today. And then I did go ahead and mix uh, the mascara. So I have the Panorama, and then I went ahead and topped it with the Essence 18 Hour. And so I have yeah, all four of these on today. And as far as what I did, um, hmm, excuse me, um, for the brows, I went ahead and used the e.l.f. I have one of the older uh, light brown pencils, and so that's what I did for the eyebrows. This is how the eye look turned out. So again, um, yeah, neutral with a little bit of color or pop as far as the eyeliner goes. So I think that turned out pretty fun. And um, yeah, I'm 
really excited to see how the future wears on me. And the fact that you can get the smaller size, I think this is um, the soft mat, and I think I'll go ahead and pick up the silver one as well. And the silver one is the hydrating one, and I'd like to go ahead and try both of them out. Uh, like I said, this is the first day I've tried this one on. Um, as far as my setting powder goes, I use the Beauty Pie Triple Glow Powder. So I have this one on as far as that. And um, I think that's probably the video for now. Um, I'll be back in a couple of days with a full review. But like I said, right now it's covering my chin, which I always really appreciate. And I found the coverage to be, um, I, I, I didn't find that one swipe did my whole face. I know there are some people saying that. Um, I had to go ahead and dip about three times into the cushion to get my whole face um, completely covered. But like I said, um, it's a really nice thin kind of feeling and I'm really hoping that it lasts as long as people are saying that it lasts and um, I really one of my big problem spots is my chin and I didn't put any concealer on that I'm hoping that it goes ahead and stays all day um, I do have a little bit of the color pop under my eyes but I used it really sparingly and um, other than that, I think that's a video, and uh, we'll see how this goes, and I hope that you have a great day. Bye.